Hi, Eric here with Cat Avenue, and I just wanted to take you through uh, the beam to column utility, which is a 2D detailing utility uh, within MechQ. Along with that, we also have a beam to beam utility. Both work the same way, um, but for today, I'm going to show you how to use the beam to column. So let's go ahead and load it up. So on the left side, we have the design window, and here we can choose different dimensions based on this diagram here um, and we also have the ability to put our column on the left or right uh, flange or web uh, here we can do an end section if we want uh, we have uh, several different connections here that we can choose from for today we're just going to use the flexible angle seat option we can choose the size of column that we want and also the spec here um, and our angle sizes here and apart from all that we can uh, match the layers to let's say an office spec if we wanted to uh, or change the colors and so forth let's get started basically just go through and check all these the way you want them then choose draw it's asking us down at the command line for an insertion point we'll just put one here uh, the beam length, we're just going to choose uh, 50 units. I'm working in um, Imperial, so this is going to be a little different if you're in metric. Uh, the top point, I'm just going to put it up here at 30 and then down here at, let's say, at 90. And here, as you can see, it's drawn the, uh, the detail for us with bolt holes and so forth. And then it's dimensioned everything up for us as well. If we want we can kind of take this down here and adjust it as needed. One thing I wanted to mention too, so these sizes are related to your dim scale. That includes the text size. In this example on my dim scale value which I can type in here is 3. Um, but I can make these um, dimensions larger or smaller depending on what I need just by changing that variable. Uh, additionally, my line type scale is set at 1, um, but I could change this to make these this spacing different if I wanted to. And let me just quickly show you the beam to beam connections utility. So this is basically how it works. Same thing. We're just changing the values here. We're changing the type and sizes here. And then we're choosing our options here. So very, very similar to the beam to column utility. Um, so have a look at that as well. And let me know if you have any questions. I can be reached directly here at 888-271-7121. And we hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.